welcome to the Hot Freedom Sequence. This will be the sequence, one of the sequences that we will use in the upcoming teacher training, the Science of Self teacher training, that will be at Yoga Herald Square in Manhattan, New York City. This sequence will focus on the third and fourth chakras mainly, creating strength in the core that allows the energy to rise strong into a relaxed, open heart. So that applies on the physical level as well as the spiritual level, creating the strength of the self, of the ego self, to allow us to practice with commitment and to achieve the goal of opening the heart to find the self, of self-realization. So a strong ego is actually important in the spiritual practice. And a strong core is important when attempting to open the heart and upper body. We'll start lying down on the mat, on your back. Each of these exercises is composed of two parts. We begin here with the legs together, focus on keeping the back flat on the mat, hands down by your side, palms down. The first movement will be to lift the legs straight up, keeping the back flat on the floor, and lift the chin, tucking the chin. That will be done with a sharp exhale, and then an inhale. So it will be like this, begin. with your toes, with your heels lifted. And this will be the first position, which is an exhale, and the inhale will be an upward facing dog, but the toes are still turned under here. For the next exercise, bring your feet forward, legs straight, and we'll be in a dandasana, staff pose here. Legs straight, toes flexed back, and palms right down by your sit bones or your hips. Drop the chin, but keep the spine straight so we have movement here at the neck. Inhale, drop the head back. Exhale, keep the seat lifted, but drop the chin. Begin. The next exercise will be in a camel position. Your toes will be turned under here, palms down by your side, fingers pointing straight down. Again, drop the chin, but keep the spine long, tailbone straight down. Again, a lot of movement right at the neck. As you inhale, you'll slide your hands up to support your lower back, drop your head back, and exhale sharply, spine straight, drop your chin. Begin. Take a breath. 
The next exercise is a twist. Stand up with your feet together. Raise your arms over your head. Interlace your fingers into a Kali Mudra, pointing your index fingers straight up. Lengthen the body, but allow the tailbone to drop down, lift through the crown of the head. We're just going to twist side to side around the vertical axis of the spine, exhaling every time we turn. Contracting the right side of the body, lengthening the whole left side of the body up to the ankle, knee, hip, waist, rib cage, armpit, and fingers. Breathe to expand the left side of the rib cage. And then reach up. Lengthen again and then over to the left side. Now you're lengthening the entire right side of the body, pressing the outer edge of the right foot down on the heel, reaching up through the left, through the right hip, the right waist, the right rib cage, armpit, through the fingers, lengthening the entire right side of the body now, contracting, squeezing the left side of the body. Use your breath to breathe into the space between the ribs on the right side. And then reach up. Reach up again and then drop your head back. Reach up and lean back. So you're doing a backward bend, but your legs are still together. Press the hips forward, push the chest up, reach back further, squeeze your legs, squeeze your butt, reach back, lift your heart, breathe to relax your heart. Reach up to release and fold forward. Folding forward right here at the hips. The hip crease. If you need to bend your knees, that's fine. Come all the way down. And then grab your heels. Pull yourself down. And shake your head out. You can bend your knees. But pull yourself down, keeping your legs strong, legs contracted, upper body relaxed. But use the strength of your arms. Further pull yourself down. You want to have your chest sealed to your thighs, if possible. Fine. 
Next, we'll move into side plank, coming onto the right hand. You can bring your foot behind you for balance if necessary. Stay here, or you can take the advanced variations, grabbing your big toe, for example. Release. And then come onto the other side. Bringing your foot behind you, or taking the advanced variation. lower to the floor and relax. Leave your palms by your side here, palms facing up and bring your chin forward. Your legs stay sealed together, ankles, knees, thighs, squeezing your butt, pushing down with your pubic bone. Inhale and lift up, lift your legs, lift your thighs, lift your chest, but keep the backs of your hands pressing down to the floor. Breathe to open the heart, squeeze your butt, lift your thighs higher. And then staying up, bring your palms forward so that your, shoulder, your hands are right under your shoulders. And now use your hands to slide back Keeping your legs up, squeeze your butt, lift your thighs, and push your heart forward. Slide your hands back as you push your heart forward, squeeze and lift, breathe, and release. Turn your head to one side and relax. Next, we'll do the cobra pose. Again, keep your feet together, legs together. Hands come under your shoulders, fingertips right under your shoulder tops. Chin forward. Inhale, this time lift only the chest, legs stay down. Press the pubic bone down into the mat. Feel the center of the chest lifting. Look up, look back, squeeze your butt. Tops of the feet pressing into the floor. And release. Turn your head to the other side and relax. Next, we'll do King Cobra. You can do the same Cobra or King Cobra. Spread your legs apart a little bit so your knees are apart. Bend your knees and then bring your big toes together. So you can use your big toes pressing together to help go deeper into the pose. Bring your hands forward just like in Cobra. And then lift up, inhale. As you use your arm strength now to push your Use your arm strength now to push your upper body back, but keep your pubic bone down, pressing down into the floor. Squeeze your butt, arch your back, lifting the heart, pressing the spine behind the heart forward. Squeeze your toes together, knees apart, and then bring your toes to your head. Look back. side and relax. Whole body relaxed, spine fluid, brain relaxed. We'll do the bow pose now. Bend your knees and grab outside of your ankles. Thumbs pointing down, chin forward. 
Inhale, kick your legs back and up. Let your shoulders come back, opening the heart. Kick your feet back and up harder. See if you can squeeze your butt even to push your feet higher towards the ceiling as you kick back. Lift the heart. See your feet above you. Breathe. And release. Turn your head to the side and relax. Again. This time you have the option to grab on the inside of the ankles with your thumbs pointing up. You can do that or you can do any variation, full bow. Again, kicking your feet up and back, opening the shoulders and chest, pushing the center of the chest forward and up. Breathe. Never stop the breath. The ocean of the breath, smooth and full. Option full bow. Be careful with the shoulders. If you take full bow, feel free to rock forward and backward on the abdomen. And release. Turn your head to the side and relax. Relax everything. Spine and brain. Breath. Body heavy. Bring your hands to the floor and push up again into a plank pose. Come forward into a cobra. Inhale to downward facing dog. And we'll come forward into a spinal twist. Bring the left knee forward. And then bring the right foot over, crossing over the outside of the left knee. Use your right hand behind you to lengthen the spine, pushing the sacrum forward. Pull your knee across your chest and turn, looking over your right shoulder. Feel the lower abdomen, the navel, pull into the spine tight, so that as you breathe, you're expanding the rib cage. Inhale to lengthen the spine, Lifting the roof of the mouth. Exhale to turn deeper. And release. Let's do the other side. Now cross the left foot over the right knee. Left hand behind you to lengthen the sacrum. Lengthen, push the sacrum forward and lengthen the spine. Hug your left knee into your chest. Lengthen and twist. Use the breath. Every inhale, you're lengthening through the whole spine, roof of the mouth lifting. Navel into the spine tight. Every exhale, turning deeper. Pushing the air out, squeezing the ribs. Squeezing the lungs, the heart, the organs. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to twist. And release. From here, simply bring your left knee closer to the right knee for Vomukhasana. So if you're very flexible in your hips, you can stack your knees right on top of each other and have your shins parallel. If that's very difficult for you, you can bring your heels back towards your sit bones so you're more like this. 
So starting with the left leg on top, we'll bring the left arm straight overhead, palm facing forward. The right arm straight out to the side, reach out of the body and then flip the palm to the back, thumb down, reach up your back, drop your left hand down your back, see if you can meet your fingers and grab your fingers together or you can use a strap, Gomukhasana, cow face pose. Lengthen the spine and push the head back. So try to get your upper arm behind your head Lengthen the spine, open your throat, and breathe. Three deep breaths. Now we'll fold forward. So stay here with your arms in this position, or release your arms and walk your hands forward into a forward fold across your hips. If you're more flexible, you can bring your chin just over your knees. Otherwise, try to relax your head down in any way, maybe bringing the top of your head to your knees. Hold, breathe, and relax the hips. release, and then simply switch your legs, bringing the right knee on top of the left. Release and step forward into a plank position. Here, keeping the spine straight, navel into the spine, we'll work on the rotator cuff by turning the wrist so that the fingers face towards the feet alternately. Turn the left and the right and the left and the right. Left, right, left, right, left. Right, left, right. And now turn the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Bring your knees down and bring both hands so that the fingers are facing towards the back. Bring your wrists closer, elbows together for peacock pose. If this hurts your wrist, you can also turn your wrist so that your fingers face forward. For peacock pose, bring your knees up beside your hands and then elbows together. Elbows press into the navel. Bring your forehead to the floor. Then step both feet back. You can stay here just feeling the weight 
of the body pressing into the navel. It should feel slightly uncomfortable. If possible, lift your head and look forward, feeling a greater pressure in the navel area, but keep the breath moving, never hold your breath. If possible, shift your weight forward, forward, maybe your feet lift off the floor. To make it easier to lift your feet, you can also bend your knees, lift, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and move straight into camel position. So we felt a lot of pressure right here in the navel, and now we're going to release it. Lean back into camel position, reaching for your heels. Press the navel forward, press the heart up, release the head back. Hips pushing forward, navel opening. You feel an opening in the area where you just compressed. Breathe, breathe into the diaphragm, relaxing the abdomen. Releasing the heart, shoulders back. Three more deep breaths. And release, hands to your lower back and sit back on your heels. We'll do that one more time, peacock. Bring your hands so that your fingers face towards your feet or knees. Wrists together, elbows together, walk your knees forward on either side of your hands. In front of your hands even. Press the navel with the elbows, forehead to the floor, step back. Stay here, breathing, strong abdomen. Maybe lift your head. Maybe shift your weight forward and maybe lift your feet. One foot. The other foot. Breathe. This posture is great for strengthening the core and also strengthening the digestive fire. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, and camel. Knees to the floor, hands to your hips. Inhale, arch your back, lean back, grab your heels, lift and release your head back. Breathe, releasing the same area that you just compressed. The third chakra, the fourth chakra, opening, lifting the center of the chest, the breast lifting as the shoulders come back. Throat open and relaxed. Breath deep. Two more deep, full breaths. And release, sitting back on your heels. Come forward to lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. And then come forward into crow position. So for crow position, you want to have your fingers spread wide. Suction cup to the floor. Bring your shins or your knees onto your upper arms. And shift your weight into your hands. So you can lift your feet here. Or you can lift one foot. Or the other foot. But if possible, lift both feet round the spine. For advanced students, bring the knees up into the armpits, navel up into the spine, lift your feet and round your back, and release. Steady the mind, relax the brain, Breathe. Focusing in the heart. We'll do rabbit pose now. Knees together, sitting on your heels. 
Bring your heels together under your sit bones. Grab around the outside of the heels. And we'll round the spine, starting with the chin, dropping to the chest, rounding the spine, rounding, rounding, pulling the navel into the spine, bring the top of the head or the forehead to the knees, to the floor, and then lift up. Keep rounding the spine, breathing now into the back ribs. Touching. 
dolphin pose. Look forward between your hands. You can stay here just strengthening your upper body, your shoulder girdle. Walk your feet in slightly if possible. Maybe lift one foot. If possible, come into a forearm stand. Study the breath. You can do any variation you like. Scorpion. Four lotus. bones, feet about hip width apart. Palms can be down by your side or you can grab your ankles to go deeper. The throat will stay relaxed and the neck long, jaw relaxed, shoulders on the floor. Press your feet down to lift the pelvis up. Press the pelvis higher, squeezing your butt Squeeze your inner thighs slightly to keep the legs parallel. Neck, throat relaxed. Breathe, squeeze and lift higher. And release, rolling down the spine. Bringing the tailbone down last. You can repeat the bridge pose two more times, or you can do the wheel pose. To do the wheel pose, bring your hands by your ears, fingers facing towards your feet. Press down with your hands and feet, bring the top of your head to the floor, and then press all the way up. Press your feet and hands hard, squeeze the pelvic floor. Squeeze in and up, pushing the heart up, pushing the spine behind the heart, breathe and relax the abdomen. To go deeper, you can walk your hands in towards your feet, press your feet harder, push the pelvis straight up. Breathe to relax the front of the body from the pubic bone to the navel, to the sternum, to the notch in the throat through the Adam's apple, relaxing the whole front body up to the chin. And release. Lie flat on your back and relax. Breathe, whole body sinking. Repeat the wheel, bringing your feet to the floor again. You can always do the bridge pose if you don't want to do wheel. One more wheel. Immediately go to the position where you left. You went deeper, walk your hands in. If you want to learn to stand up, start rocking the weight into your feet so that your hands almost lift. 
pressing your fingers down, maybe lift all the way up and come up to standing. Or release by lying down on your back. Bring your knees to your chest. Squeeze your knees to your chest and breathe into your lower abdomen. Using the breath, the inhale to press against the thighs. Rock forward and backward and come up to a seated position. Hashimotanasana. Legs straight in front of you. You can always bend the knees if you need to to fall deeper at the hip crease. Bring your sit bones apart and pointing directly behind you. Grab the heels and fold forward. We're starting by stretching the chin forward, lengthening the spine, thighs stay strong. Lift your heels even if possible. And then lengthen the back of the neck, bringing the gaze towards the pubic bone. Stretching the top of the back of the head towards the toes. Now bring your hands just by your hips and then bring them slightly forward. So you want your hands to be about equal between, halfway between your knees and your hips, right about here. For, further forward than you think. You're going to round the spine for lifting the whole body up. Round the spine and crunch the abdomen in. Straighten your legs if possible, even lift your heels off the floor. Create a strong contraction of the whole body and keep it as you lift. Release. As you lift, your, sit, your seat will move back. Navasana. Lift your knees, straighten your legs, or keep them bent. Hands straight out, parallel to the floor, palms facing inward. Lengthen the spine and breathe rapid fire breath. Hands to the floor, inhale deeply. Exhale and press your forehead to your knees. Exhale, exhale, exhale. And release. We'll finish this sequence with another spinal twist. Starting by twisting to the right, bring the right foot over the left knee. Lengthen the spine and turn across. If you want to go deeper, you can bring the elbow to the outside of the knee and grab the foot. Lengthening the spine on the inhale and twisting deeper on the exhale. Pull the navel into the spine. Move the breath into the rib cage. Articulate the ribs as you breathe. And release. Switch to the other side. Lengthen the spine and twist. Navel in, strong core, long spine. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Stay focused in the heart 
And allow the inhale to bring the attention into the brow. And the exhale to bring the attention back to the heart. Keeping the throat relaxed and open. Find the pathway between the mind and the heart. The heart and the mind. Bring your hands together at your heart. Thank you for practicing the hot freedom scene.